Hey, sleepyhead. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. That was our first official night in the tiny house cabin. I think we have mixed reviews, folks. I'll be kind of tallying up some small, like a small list of like pros and cons and stuff like that to list at the end of the video. Um, and just kind of give an overall sum up of like the good and the not so good. Morning plan for me right now. I'm going to get up and do a little bit of work, probably stretch. And then the plan to going to downtown Charlottesville, I believe it is, and explore around a little bit. I was looking up online um, how to make pour over coffee because that's what this coffee is. Um, and at first it didn't look like we had the right materials, but if you take a closer look at the back of this thing with the instructions, I think they kind of made the filter built in. So it's all one easy set up and go process. On here, our instructions say to remove the filter from the pouch, tear open along the perforation, um, to anchor the mug and bend sides of anchors outward for extra stability. So it looks like it just kind of straddles the mug, if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna place this like this, get this nice and sturdy, okay? And there's actually a little tab on here that says open so this i think is the perforation that they were talking about and it looks like you just pour the water into the filter and let it steep through yep nice and easy just like that wow okay well that was easy um let's get the other one set up almost right on cue our water is giving us some signs that it is ready. Let's give this a shot. Right? And then you just let it do its thing until it's full. This isn't bad, this is pretty cool. It smells like coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously coffee is such a commodity nowadays, like you don't really need something like this, but when you're in the wilderness, there's no uh, coffee shop, this is, mm -hmm your best friend, so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and give this coffee a try in black and see what we're working with. Tiny house camping, be careful, don't burn your tongue. She doesn't like black coffee. <laughs> um, well, I don't know if this is good black coffee. I, probably not, I don't know. It tastes not coffee either. Uh, to me, it doesn't taste very bad. It's not like, oh, this is this is terrible. I can't do this, you know? Yours is already looking a little, little blue to me. But yeah, I'm gonna leave my cup how it is um, and just kind of enjoy it. I just want you guys to hear how quiet it is outside right now. And honestly, I expected it to be much colder, but it's not really that cold. We got really lucky this week. We're getting some breaks of like warmer spring weather in there, but oh my God, this is bliss, man. It feels so good. Look at what I'm waking up to this morning. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. There's so many little nuggets that kind of factor in to putting you into like an instant calm but definitely one of them for sure is just the quiet. It's something that's overlooked heavily. It's it's the first thing you wake up to is just beautiful sunrise, quiet, peace, calm, and it just feels good. Fresh air, good weather, and a good experience. We're gonna go ahead and pack up our bags, pack up some stuff, and we're going to head into town to get some uh, coffee. And I guess now at this point, it's kind of like closer to brunch hour um, yeah. and get our first meal today. Okay, 
get it done. Just made it. Had to come back and get a little jacket. It was a little more chillster outside than what it let on, but I think that's only in like the shaded areas. I think in the main areas where there's sunlight and everything, it'll be much nicer. Again, this isn't quite the downtown area that I was in for my job previously, but I know that the rest of the restaurants um, are actually in that same area. So we're just in a slightly different part of town. between the ch uh, Albemarle chicken salad or the Twin Peaks tuna salad, dill pickle, avocado, lemon aioli, like, or the grilled cheese sounds good too. Mm -hmm. Before I run back there and try my food, because uh, I'm sure it's probably gonna come out here pretty soon, I'm gonna taste this delicious looking latte. This thing is enormous, and I'm so excited to give it a try. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out and let's see how it is. Also came with this little tiny, I don't know what this is. I've seen this maybe once or twice before, but it's like some little like cake or pastry or something like that. This is the honey sea salt uh, latte with a shot of lavender added to it. hits that hits that hits that hits that hits wow great job okay that's absolutely scrumptious lavender adds that nice little bit of extra flavor tone I was looking for, but this is definitely two thumbs up from Cam, and I'm glad that I got the large. The small probably wouldn't have been too bad, but the large is the right size for me. Something that I think is interesting is they have a coffee calendar, as you guys can see. This lists all the specialty flavors for the month. Um, and I'm assuming obviously they update this on a regular basis and everything but now you can kind of check out what flavors they're going to have what days and then obviously schedule in when you want to come in and grab that specialty coffee that's pretty cool I don't think I've ever seen any other coffee shop do that before holy crap those look amazing The sandwich just came out and look at this thing. Are you serious right now? Like, bro, that looks amazing. Oh, you taste tested it, man. <laughs> Good. What's it taste like? 
the flavors are so good because the lemon aioli, avocado, tuna, and cheddar cheese. It is delicious. <gasps> There's potato chips in it. Oh my god. Cameron, you have to try. Okay, I'll give it a try. Bye. Oh wow. It's so good. Get the pickle there too. That is pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, that is good. It's like an upgraded tuna melt. The bread is crispy and crunchy, delicious. There's pickles and avocado. And I feel like the chips are a certain flavor on the sandwich, which really gives it like a nice, like, zing, powerful flavor. Pair that with the onion and the cheese on there. And then, of course, whatever aioli they put on there to complement the tuna. Yeah, it's got lemon, strong flavor of lemon. I'm not a big lemon guy, but this is bomb. You know me, I'm a little bit more classic with my taste buds. Got always have, always have the bacon, always have the turkey, all that stuff. So let's give this a try. I feel like I should go from this end, even though this looks like the uglier end of my point. Still good. Mine is more classic turkey, bacon, avocado, ranch kind of flavor going on here. Good aioli. And overall, still really yummy. But honestly, if I had to pick between the two, I'm picking Ben's. That zone is good. Mm. Wow. If you're passing through or if you're new to the area, I know UVA is down here. If you're a new student to the area, come to Petite Marie um, Bet. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And just let yourself enjoy. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, so what I didn't realize is that we're actually literally right next to the walking mall area. This is the Jack Brown's Burger Bar. Um, that me and Katie had visited a little bit earlier. It gets really crazy and packed at night, but it's definitely a lot of fun if you're a college student here. So the rest of our day was spent exploring the downtown walking mall, which was pretty cool. We stopped at a couple different shops, checked out a dessert shop called Kilwins, and tried some ice cream samples there and checked out the rest of the sweet treats they had in the shop. Uh, eventually moseyed our way down to a little cafe where we did some work and stopped for a little coffee pick-me-up and then finally close out our outing with a little grocery shopping where we gathered the rest of the materials that we needed to cook dinner for our night in. So this is our grocery store haul. I think we are all set. We got chips, we got burger buns, we got some bacon, some ground beef, uh, burger patties, sliders, uh, and then some eggs and some coffee and some cream cheese. made it back to base camp and I think it's time to get our fire set up um, pour some peanut butter whiskey light up a little stogie uh, and enjoy our great American outdoors let's get this vibe popping and that is your smile story of the day smile story of the day is brought is behind in filing your tax returns or if you owe over ten thousand dollars in back taxes. or SUV today come see me Eric Oval at Charlie Oval Alright, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Love you much. Love you, babe. Love you, love you, love you, love you.
And just trying to remember the great artists we lost yesterday. I'll let you know how some of the biggest countries. All right, guys, my bacon's ready. We figured that we should have probably done the bacon first because it takes a little longer. But alas, these bacon cheeseburgers made by the hubs are gonna be amazing. I already took a bite. All right. First bite of his burger. Homemade tiny house cabin bacon cheeseburger. Ooh. So good. Cheers to a good first getaway house experience. Mm. Yum. Way to home run, folks. Missing anything? Home. Good? Yes. All right. Wow. That means we did it right. Bacon is so good. It's going to be really good for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So crispy. This is exactly Sweet. what you're supposed to do at a tiny house getaway cabin. We are doing it right. Mm. That was so good. Better than a Five Guys, better than a whatever other burger bar, honestly. I feel like we could have gone to and probably paid close to 15 to $20 for. Make the burgers yourself. Put in the work, it makes it taste better. Burgers were absolutely amazing. We are going to go ahead and clean up, wash off some of the deck. It's time to break this in, give the shower a test. It comes with soap and shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff already in here. Let's see what it's like to shower in a tiny house.